In recognition of Memorial Day, let's take a look at a hymn that has long been associated with those who serve in the military. Eternal Father, strong to save, sometimes known by its final line, for those in peril on the sea, dates back to 1860. It was written by William Whiting after a student at Winchester College Chorister School confided to him their fears about traveling to the United States. Whiting shared his own experiences of being caught at sea in a storm and wrote the hymn as a comfort for the traveling student. Whiting is thought to have been inspired by Psalm 107 when he wrote this, which reads, Some went out on the sea in ships. They were merchants on the mighty waters. They saw the works of the Lord, his wonderful deeds in the deep. For he spoke and stirred up a tempest that lifted high the waves. They mounted up to the heavens and went down to the depths. In their peril, their courage melted away. The hymn was popular from its first publication in Hymns Ancient and Modern in 1861, in no small part because of the dearth of hymns specifically for those at sea, and to this day it is commonly known as the Navy Hymn. More recently, authors have adapted new verses for different branches of military service. In 1915, Mary C. D. Hamilton penned this verse on behalf of the airmen of World War I. Lord, guard and guide the men who fly through the great spaces of the sky. Be with them always in the air, in darkening storms or sunlight fair. O oh, hear us when we lift our prayer for those in peril in the air. In 1966, J. E. Syme adapted a verse for the Marine Corps. Eternal Father, grant, we pray, to all Marines, both night and day, the courage, honor, strength, and skill, their land to serve, thy law fulfill. Be thou the shield forevermore, from every peril to the core. In 1961, amidst the space race, a verse was added by J. E. Volante. Eternal Father, King of birth, who didst create the heaven and earth, and bid the planets and the sun their own appointed orbits run. O hear us when we seek thy grace for those who soar through outer space. These are only a small sample of the many adaptations that Whiting's hymn has inspired. However, only one adaptation has made it into the Episcopal hymnal, and that was by Robert Nelson Spencer. Spencer, who lived during the first half of the 20th century, largely kept Whiting's first and fourth stanzas but adapted the second and third to address other means of travel. The final stanza prays for those in all modes of travel, and a later version added space to the list as it became more relevant. The tune, Melita, was written by John Bacchus Dykes to be paired specifically with Whiting's original hymn. The name Melita is derived from the archaic term for Malta, an ancient seafaring nation, and the island on which the Apostle Paul ends up being shipwrecked in the book of Acts chapter 28. The Navy hymn has long been sung in worship services at sea, and most notably at the funerals for those who served, including Senator John McCain and former President George H. W. Bush. In remembrance of all who have served, Please join me in singing Almighty Father, Strong to Save. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh,